Good afternoon fret friends and good afternoon HFC. Now those of you who are fret friends won't know what the HFC is but those of the HFC will know. HFC stands for Hamer Fan Club and for those of you who don't know where have you been living? Um, Hamer Fan Club. Hamer are a brand of guitars. Um, you could say boutique guitars who started out in around about 1975 by Paul Hamer. I think you don't think was with him at the time. I'm not entirely sure about that quote man but Hamer guitar started out basically building um, Gibson style guitars, but better for Gibson, better than Gibson's, and uh, three times cheaper. And we took off, and uh, they are fantastic guitars. I discovered Hamer guitars in round about 1984, where a few hung up in a local music shop, music shop being Folds in Nottingham in England. Saw them, tried them, loved them, couldn't afford them, never had one until. I've actually owned two Hamer guitars before this one. In fact, three, one was an import. No, two, I had two imports, two Americans. My two American ones, my first one was a 1990 or a 90, I think it's a 1990 Centaur, which I bought from a guy called Matt at the Hamer Fan Club. I think he's on there as Bruce 919. Got that, actually I did buy that for 350. There you go. And then one after that, I had a 1988 Cali. Uh, in metallic ice blue which was fantastic. I unfortunately had to sell that in around about 2013. I got offered, I think I, I sold it for around $750 which was too cheap but I needed the money at the time and I've not owned a Hamer guitar until this week or until last week and this I'm going to show you and it's got everything with it. Now I did mention on the website that this is pristine. It's not pristine, it does have a chip but I am worried about that but I'm going to show you the guitar and here it is. And it's a 2006 studio and look at that it is absolutely beautiful it's in fantastic condition it's everything is stock um i believe these are both 59 pickles normally I have a 59 and probably a jb i'm not sure but these are both 59s as far as i know fantastic bow knot um you have some I believe Charlotte tuners on there. They are Charlotte because they're made in Germany. So this is all stock. Beautiful AAA figured maple cap on there. Volume, volume, tone, three-way. And it is absolutely fantastic. Now I've not changed the strings on it. I've not set it up. I've not done anything. I've played it and I've plugged it in. But not only that, I'm going to move on. Because not only do I have a guitar, I also have the case. Original case. Blah, 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 blah. Fantastic, stick that back, and I have all the paperwork and the gubbins with it. So I have the keys for the case, I have the Allen wrench for the um, bridge, it's a locking bridge, I have the Hamer booklet warranty card, and I have a certificate of authenticity signed by Frank and Yol. There you go, absolutely brilliant, and uh, I got it, I got it for a great price. I bought it from a guy at the HFC. Uh, you know him as Linksman on there, L-I-N-C-S-M-A-N. I know him as Dave, because that's his name. And we've actually met up a few times. We first met up, we met at the HFC. We actually physically met in 2011 when I, my, me and my wife were living in a, um, you call it an apartment in America. Uh, we were living in an apartment, it came round and uh, we had a chinwag. And we've met a few times since. I actually, I've actually teched a few of his guitars over the years. Went to anyway. This guitar, I forgot all about it. He asked me last year if he knew anyone wanted to buy it. He had it, he had it up for sale for a good price, a very good price. And I'd mentioned it about it and didn't know anyone. And I got talking to him last week, and he mentioned it again. And I thought that's brilliant. That looks good. Not my style of guitar uh, normally. Uh, I play. Well, I've always played metal. My guitars, I've just bought a Solar, which is the Ola England brand of guitar. So I bought a metal guitar. I've got an Explorer. Edwards Explorer made in Japan by ESP. I have an American Telecaster which I'm now going to sell. I have an SG which I'm also going to sell. Um, and a couple of others knocking about. Super Strats are my thing. I've got a Super Strat uh, part built. Well, it's been built. It just needs putting together and new pickups put in it, uh, which I'm, I'm modding that at the moment. That's my own. That is very special. That's a warm of neck, warm of body. Um, it has DiMaggio pickups. It has a Goto Floyd Rose uh, flamed figured maple top, it's sprayed green, it's beautiful, that's for another day. But this guitar, but yeah, I thought, you know what, he mentioned this again, if anybody wanted to buy it, and I asked him how much he wanted for it, and he told me the price, and my jaw nearly at the floor, and I thought, 
I might be interested. I didn't tell him straight away, right? I, I messaged him the next day. I says, how much do you want for it? And he told me the price and I thought, I'm having it. So I bought it. Uh, no qualms. He knocked me a little bit more money off as well, so I got it for a great price. Uh, I went and picked it up last week. Uh, only one thing, and Dave didn't know about it either, and there is a chip here. Just above my finger. I only found this after I'd had it a few days. Just above my finger there. I'm not bothered about that, but I am going to get it repaired. And I am a guitar tech. I'm not a luthier. I don't have the facilities or the knowledge to spray paint or f uh, fix that. So I'm going to take this to a luthier friend of mine. I'm going to get him to fix it. And whatever it costs, I'll pay it and have it fixed so it's invisible. And that's it. But this is the guitar. It is beautiful. So what do I like? What do I not like about it? I like everything about it. But saying that, I would have bigger frets on there. I'm not going to change them. But I personally would have bigger frets on there myself. The neck is, I've never known a neck like it. It's not quite a baseball bat, but it is thick. It feels like a real piece of wood. A little bit um, different for me to get used to playing something of this shape. Uh, but the weight, what a beautiful weight. This has got to be, I've got no idea. It's got to be nine pounds, if anything. Now, I love heavy guitars. I like, when I, when I ever bought Gibson guitars, I've only had a couple. In fact, I think I've only had one, but I bought the non-weight relief one, um, which is me. So I like heavy guitars, but this is beautiful. It's To play, it's fantastic. The strings on there are too light. I think it's got some 942s on there. Don't quote me on that. Could be 1046s. I would like some fatter strings on there, some heavier strings. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to polish the frets. I'm going to check the frets for level. I'm sure they're fine. Um, and I'm going to put some new strings on there. But sound wise wow i'm a bit of a pickup whore i normally always change pickups on the guitar but i'm not changing these it just sounds fantastic the neck pickle is astounding for playing those blues licks that blue sound just amazing even better the reason i kept my american telecaster i got a 2008 fender american standard telecaster fast and um i never swapped the neck pickup out of that because it is so bluesy and amazing uh, but this is better, it beats it. So I can now sell my Telecaster. I'm going to sell my Telecaster um, because I don't need it. Because the thing with a Telecaster is, it is not, even I've got a high output uh, pickup in the bridge, in fact, I've got a mini humble cut, well, a single core size humble cut in there, a Seymour Duncan hot rail. Still doesn't quite cut it when I want to play those beefier tones. So this is more me. I am a humbucker guy. I'm not even going to put any core splits on here. I'm going to leave this hamer as it is. Absolutely love it. Like I say, it needs that bit of work doing. Most people say just seal that with a bit of super glue, leave it. No, I'm not. I'm going to get this pristine and perfect because if I do move it on, and I haven't bought it to sell, but if I do move it on, I will be part exchanging it for something else. Which and there's only two guitars I really want to buy that are Hamers, and that would be uh, a Cali with Boomers, or it will be a standard in good condition, and I would possibly try and part shop with that, or at least sell this and put that money towards it. A standard's going to cost me a lot of money. It'd be cheaper to go and get a shish cough, wouldn't it, uh, than a used Hamer. But we'll see what pops up. Again, boomered Callies in England, you just don't see them. But if one ever pops up, you never know. So it looks like I'm going to be keeping this for a long time. And I don't have a problem with that. Um, and the longer I keep it, the better. If I keep it a long time, it's going to end up in Canada. Reason being, my wife and I are going to be moving to Canada in about three years. My wife is Canadian. She's from Ottawa. I shipped her over here in... The year, what year was it? 2009 she came over here. We were married in 2012. We're still here, we're planning to go back to Canada. Uh, and, uh, and me to go and move to Canada, uh, to reside in Canada. So that's the plan anyway, but that is it. Hamer Studio 2006 model. What a stunning guitar. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna plug it in in a minute and just have a little play, but not on the video. Uh, just for myself, but yeah, beautiful. And then I'm going to, when I've got some time at the weekend, when I'm not working, this is my workshop by the way, so when I'm not working, I will clean the frets, polish the frets, and I'll stick some new strings on there. But that's it for now. That is my new guitar. What a beautiful thing. Got it for a fantastic price. I'm not going to tell you how much I paid for it, but I paid less than a thousand. Think about that for a minute. Um, as it stands, I would probably think this is worth $1,500, $1,600, uh, maybe the equivalent in pounds or euro over here if I was to sell it. I'm going to spend probably 200 getting this uh, chip fixed. I'll get it fixed properly though. 
Um, I'm not really bothered about the value of it. It's it's not going to be sold. It's just fantastic. It's going to be something I'm going to enjoy playing. If I do end up playing electric guitar in church, this will be the guitar I'm using. So that's it. But yeah, beautiful thing. Really happy I've got it. Just mentioned Dave, my friend Dave, who, who uh, sold it to me. Um, cheers for that, Dave. You know what I mean? Thanks for giving me a great price, and I love it. But that is it. So one thing left for me to do is uh, just remind you my website, facebook.com forward slash ng17. That's facebook.com forward slash n-g-o-n-e-s-e-v-e-n. I am Victor. I am your fret friend. Until next time, as always, God bless you. Be good to each other. I'll see you in the next one.